Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. Welcome to a special episode today, because y'all, I'm doing something. How do I say this? A little crazy, a little crazy. I'm going to be fishing off the docks off of Million Dollar Homes, okay? So the goal today is simple. See how many bass and crappy I can catch before the police show up. I think I can get at least five before 12 show up. 12 means police. I mean, personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let go. All right, y'all, so there's a lot of boat traffic out here on the weekend. Rich people like to um, boat and drink, so we gotta keep our heads on the swivel. Make sure we don't die today, and try not to go to jail. Let's hit the docks and get it going. All right, y'all. Water's pretty choppy, not gonna lie. A little sketch. But I feel confident in my hobby. So we'll, um, we'll make it work, man. Wind is blowing, it's probably 15 10 or 15 but it's manageable you know what i'm saying so today on the menu we'll be trying a little jerk bait i think this is a rapella jerk bait with little beads in it so that's going to be the star of the show today if not i got some backups in the back of the boat um i'm already feeling getting sick sick we're gonna make it work though we're gonna make it work let go Now, I think most people don't mind you fishing around their docks as long as you don't hit their property. I understand getting mad if you actually, you know, hit the property. If you're not hitting their property and it's fishing in the general area, well, frankly, they can kiss my behind. Looks like we might be coming across our first homeowner. Let's see how this goes. We'll see. He seems like he's never seen a black person fish before. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Just getting started. <laughs> All right. He seems pretty baffled. It's like he's seeing a monkey type of thesis paper on a computer or something. Just a black guy with a kayak. Nothing to see here, people. So like I said, I got my flag, my whistle, just in case somebody drunk comes and doesn't see me. All else fails. I got about 16 rounds to try to stop him. It is what it is. It's a nice little boat right there. I mean, it's a good lake boat, like for a lake like this. I don't know if I'll take that out in like inshore or the Gulf. I mean, low key, I think I feel more confident in the kayak versus a nice, nice little boat like that. But don't get it twisted though, I would definitely ride it. Looks fun, it's fun size. I'll tell you one thing only in Texas, where we're still in February. And people are already swimming in pools. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not liking this side, man. Reverse it. It's two feet of water. I'm in control. I'm in control. There we go. We got to re-rig. I don't think the other side of the lake is any more calmer, if not worse. Well, one way to find out. All right, let's make our way across this damn bridge before some idiot comes flying through. Keep forgetting I got the Bixby.
truck. This thing is moving. Alright, I need to re-rig. See if I can find me some nice stable ground. Still waiting for my first Karen interaction. It still hasn't happened yet. When it comes to like dealing with Karens, quite honestly, there's a secret to it, which is really simple. You don't respond. Like, you just kind of let them get on the phone with the police and go on about your day. Not really sure what's on this other side of this bridge. So let's go find out. We're going on an adventure. Going against the current. It's like six point six eight feet down here. I know no platoon boats can get back here, so should be low pressure. Just a little bitty, little bit apart. Just a little part. Against the current, probably speed six or seven on a big speed. I'm doing about two and a half miles an hour on like speed six out of 13. This little motor, man, it gets you moving. Like I said, I spent the majority of the time, 2.30, 3.30, for about an hour and a half going with the current, so I didn't have to use my big speed a lot. It's kind of trolled on speed one. Yeah, we still have six out of six power bars left. I'm just saying hopefully around this corner, the wind is gonna be a lot more calmer so I can actually fish. But you know, that's my mistake. I should have came out here and walked out to the lake. It just took literally 60 seconds to walk out to the lake to check out the conditions. See, obviously, this is not it. Like I said, it's one thing to deal with all the conditions of um, the wind. It's another thing to deal with all the boats. Wait for it. Go. No, not on the roof. On the roof. Idiot. I'm casting with the wind, so we get some good distance. Ooh. That felt like a bite. That felt like a bite. Yep. That's definitely a bite. Come here. Don't you get off. Don't you get off. Whoa, that's a slab. That is a slab. That's a slab. Cr crappie. Yeah, I'm not doing treble hooks no more. There we go. That was pretty simple, actually. 
All right, nice little crappie. Not the four or five pound bass I'm looking for, but I'll take it. I'm still not gonna eat one yet. It's my home lake. I wanna keep catching them, so I'm gonna keep catching and releasing. All right, you ready? Yeah, he's out. Frustration is seeking in. Frustration is seeking in. Keep passing now, baby. Right there, right by the rocks. Ooh, I like that. I like this. Ooh, I like this cast. I like this freaking cast. Pressure, baby. Keep the pressure on it. Keep the pressure on it. There you go. Keep the pressure on it. Jump in the boat. Jump in the boat. There you go. Right by the rocks. <clears throat> There we go, y'all. Finally got it done. Finally got it done. Let's put it back, man. You gonna be okay? You gonna be okay? Don't bite me. Yeah. Right by the rocks, I told you. Freaking told you. Let's go.